Hi folks, this is College Algebra Checkpoint Quiz 7.3. Number one, we're asked to put an equation in standard form and find the vertex, focus, and directrix. So this is a clue that what we're looking at is a parabola. How do we know it's a parabola uh, without that information? Well, if we look at the equation that's given us, 2y squared plus 12y plus 8x plus 2 equals 0. We note that only one of the variables is squared. In this case, it's a y squared. So the first thing we need to know is what standard form we're shooting for with this guy. And since it's the y that's squared, we're looking for the standard form y minus k quantity squared is 4p times the quantity x minus h. The vertex is h comma k, and p is going to help us figure out how far to go from the vertex to get the directrix and focus. So the first order of business is we need to get the y's on one side and everything else on the other. So we can do that by subtracting off the 8x and 2 from both sides. And so I get 2y squared plus 12y equals negative 8x minus 2. And now I need to complete the square on the y. So we need to get a leading coefficient of 1 on the y squared. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by the 2. I can do the division on the left-hand side term by term. 2y squared over 2 gives me y squared. Plus 12y over 2 gives me 6y. On the right-hand side, negative 8x over 2 is negative 4x. Negative 2 over 2 minus 1. To complete the square on the y, I have to think what perfect square quantity would start off y squared plus 6y. I take the coefficient of y, in this case positive 6, and divide by 3. Excuse me, divide by 2, that gives me a positive 3. And so I know then to get this perfect square, I need y squared plus 6y plus 3 squared. And so to keep the balance, if I added 3 squared to one side of the equation, I better add 3 squared to the other side. And this gives me negative 4x plus 8. So looking back at my form, I've got the completed square on the left with the y. Now what I need to do is factor out the uh, coefficient of x on the left. And so I get y plus 3 squared equals negative 4 times the quantity x minus 2. So this is the standard form. From this I can tell what the vertex is going to be. I take the opposite of this number for the x is 2. The opposite of this number for the y is negative 3. The number here, the negative 4, corresponds to the number 4p. So this tells me that 4p is negative 4 which means p is negative 1. Since p is negative and I have a y squared, that, tell me, that tells me the parabola is going to open to the left, which means the focus is going to be p units to the left of the vertex, and the directrix is going to be p units to the right of the vertex. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph it. The vertex is at 2, negative 3, right there. And I'm going to be opening to the left. So the uh, focus is going to be p units to the left um, here. So p was negative 1. That means I'm going to move one unit to the left uh, to get to the focus. So what's the focus going to be? I start at 2, negative 3, move one unit to the left. I'm going to be at 1, negative 3 then the directrix is going to be one unit to the right of the vertex and that's going to be a vertical line and the vertical line is going to have the equation x equals something so it's x equals one unit to the right of two so it's going to be x equals three now in helping us graph this we can look for the focal diameter which is the um, width 
or the length rather of the lattice rectum. The focal diameter is going to have a length, the absolute value of negative 4, which is 4. So that means here at the focus, the parabola is going to be 4 units wide. So it's going to be 2 units up and 2 units down from the focus. And so I can go ahead and connect those up in a parabolic fashion. And there's a pretty decent sketch of that parabola. So that'll do it for number one. Okay, number two, we're asked to find the equation of the parabola um, with a given focus and a given directrix. All right, so this really goes back to the definition of what, a, of what a parabola is when you look at it in terms of distances. So when in doubt, graph it out. It says that the focus is negative 2, 3. That's the focus. And the directrix is the x-axis. All right, so what do we know uh, from this? We know the parabola has to be opening upward. Okay, That means it's going to be an x squared -y kind of parabola. All right, so we know it's going to come in here. Oh, it's supposed to be a parabola. And so that means we're trying to fit it to the form x minus h quantity squared is 4p times y minus k, where the vertex is hk, and p is the distance from the focus to the vertex, which is in turn the distance from the vertex to the directrix. All right, so let's try to figure out what the p is um, and everything else. So what's the distance from the focus down to the directrix? Well, it's 3. That means that if I go halfway, this is each three halves. Oops. All right, so that tells us that P is three halves. I know that P is positive because the parabola is opening upward. Okay, so that's what the P is going to be. Now I just need to find the vertex. Well, the vertex is midway between the focus and the directrix. So the focus is up here at negative 2, 3. If I go down 3 halves units, guess what? I'm at 3 halves. Um, so the vertex is at negative 2, 3 halves. All right? So this is my HK. So I put all this together, and I get the equation for the parabola is x minus negative 2 quantity squared equals 4 times P, 3 halves, times y minus k, y minus 3 halves. I simplify this, I get x plus 2 quantity squared, 4 times 3 halves, that's going to give me 6, times y minus 3 halves. And that'll do it for number 2.